Illinois has lost 22,000 people to COVID-19, each one leaving family, friends and loved ones grappling with grief as we enter a new phase of the pandemic. CBS 2's Marissa Parr shares a high honor for two victims in Archer Heights. A sign of hope. Guadalupe and Maria Lopez Way. Uh, thank you all for being here and have a great season. On a cloudy morning, dozens gathered at 48th and South Kenneth Avenue. Now a memorial to Maria Lopez and her husband known as Lupe. He was my coach in eighth grade. Yeah, he's a big name, big name in the community. Honoring their memory. And big names leave behind big sorrow when they pass. Married for over 30 years, they got COVID in November and died within weeks. My mom uh, said goodbye to my dad on FaceTime through class. I think my mom died of a broken heart once she found out that my dad passed away and uh, now they're together in heaven. And together, leaving a legacy. Maria would help immigrants in Little Village fill out tax returns. Lupe, a star 911 dispatcher, saving lives over the phone for over 30 years. They both left uh, footprints all over the city. But it was here they poured their heart and soul. This street was their first home, and the baseball field at the end of it was their second. He would always invite me to his house. He, would, he was my favorite coach. My dad would always tell me, he'd be like, you know, not going here just to coach, you know, I'm going here because these kids need me. As the nation moves forward, the grief is still there for the sons and daughter they leave behind. I really want to thank everybody for coming out today. But the Lopez children say today feels like the start of a new chapter. Today, it was a sense of normalcy with, with everybody here. It just really shows, you know, what Chicago is about, you know, it's community, you know. It tells us they won't be forgotten. We have been following the Lopez family story for months now, and within the last few weeks, the children did become fully vaccinated, telling me it was an emotional moment thinking about the difference it could have made for their parents. Reporting live from the Streetside Studio, Marissa Parra, CBS 2 News.